Okay. So I have this expression now. Okay. So how I get all this information? This is from uh, base. This is uh, our assumes assumption and definitions. Okay. Then we put the epsilon, and then putting the uh, definition of epsilon, and we have this uh, expression. This expression, okay, and we are using the similar expression when we are proving the u and y here. Okay, so u is gx, y is fu. Then we are making all the delta u, delta y in our um, form here, then we are connecting these two into here, okay? So dy dx is we bring back our limit. So as the delta x is zero, epsilon one and epsilon two also going zero. Okay. Okay. Why we need to include the epsilon? Okay. Because the epsilon is showing you that uh, it has a, a small number. Okay, it has small number, and with the limit concept, we can make those difference become zero. Okay, okay and then uh, that's uh, proving the uh, the chain rule. Okay. Okay, um, in Tuesday, have I tell you the exponential? No, right? E to the x? No, no, right? This, this, uh, this, no, right? Okay. Uh, but maybe before before exponentials, maybe can you try uh, this? Uh, can you try this one? If you see any obvious functions that it composed of another functions inside, and it is like you can have it more and more and more inside, like this one, you can have, for example, you can have, right? You can have like more, right? But let's just stop until these two and see what happens. But this also, Possible to solve, okay. but I will solve later. 
but try the, the, these two first. Square root of x plus square root of x. It's obviously chain rule because you see the functions is inside the another function. Also, you have also, if you have the ln x, you can have also like ln, like more and more ln, okay? Um, this kind of questions is, I think, really good way to, to, to prove that whether you are understand the concept or no about the chain rule. Because if the function is just uh, this sine x and then squared, I think this is just too, too, too simple. Okay. I mean, if you have like more complex and you still have good understanding of chain rule, you will, you will get the solutions okay, if you have like more and more complex. Okay. And maybe because you know the answer uh, and then you happen to be memorizing it, sometimes it's good for you, you know the step, but sometimes it's bad because you, you haven't really grabbed or you haven't really thought about the, the basic of the, the general. Okay. Can you solve it? So one way to think this functions, okay. Um, remember that if you have f g x, right, then the the derivative is derivative of f and then derivative of the inside, okay. So those are just the how it works, okay. So this is the outside functions and this is the inside function. Okay. My suggestion, if you have like uh, feeling messy in your notes, you can write from inside. You can find this first, okay? Find the square root of x first, okay? And then plus this one. And then you know the, the derivative of this, and then put inside. Um, you know the derivative of some a is to a, right? And then you just multiply with the derivative inside. So you can work from the inside first, and then later you combine into one. But let me write this as uh, y prime is one, over to yeah, just write all this okay and multiply by so when you multiply if you're still not sure the result just write the 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 tools first okay the tools is derivative of the inside function this is uh, safer it's it's more safe okay rather than you directly uh, solve because like, like I said before, if you have like a lot of this, okay, then you have like a lot of this, right? And you are doing the same thing over and over, like maybe you will have ddx, 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 right? But if you stop the question until here, then this part is just one plus one over, right? And it's uh, multiplied by this, or you can just write uh, divide by this, and if you want to uh, simplify, you can simplify the numerator, the numerator. But, but in, in general, as long as you understand this concept, okay, this part, how uh, this is the f prime, and you just uh, make it like a whole variable here, and then multiply by the inside function. So always the, uh, the outside functions okay, and inside functions. Uh, I'm suggesting to write like this if you feel uh, not confident in your uh, calculations. Okay, but if you feel you 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 know directly, you can just write the answer and just multiply it here. That that's also fine. Okay, but if you feel 
uh, nervous when you are doing that in exam, then doing just step by step. Uh, take your time, make sure your answer is uh, correct. Uh, maybe I will go another example, but later. But right now, um, maybe we'll go for uh, exponential. Okay? Exponential. Okay, um, I don't know if you know the terms. Um, have you heard uh, the, for example, the numbers increase exponentially? Have you heard before? Maybe you read in some text or maybe in the news the, uh, in English. So if someone said exponentially, okay, it means that you have a population and the population is getting bigger because it depends on the total population. For example, like this. Um, let's say population in some area. Uh, yeah, this is like a dots, okay? But imagine this dots is like a couple, okay? A couple. Um, and they have maybe at least have one children, at least, okay? At least, imagine just a sample, okay? Just a sample. Okay. So compare with, if you have more, like that, or maybe more. If you compare, okay, and if you try more and more and more people, as the people getting increase in number, the rate of the population is getting faster to be larger, right? Maybe you, uh, anyone live in like a, like a farmer, you have like, your uh, maybe chicken or maybe what like pig or, or maybe other uh, animals okay they, they they grow so fast right and then we say that exponentially growing fast so exponent we are using it for population if it is growing right but exponent is also for uh, it's it's you can have this it become four, right? And you can have this become half, right? So it can be also, not also for growing, but decay. We will learn maybe next next session, the growth and decay, but this is just um, the uh, intro, okay? Okay, so I, I show you this, the index number here. Let's just make um, x squared, x cubed, x fourth. The more degree you have here in just regular polynomial uh, functions, the more the graph is more steeper, right? It's getting more and more and more uh, vertical. This, this, and because you also know that you already know the derivative, it's 2x, it's 3x squared, it's 4x squared. Maybe you, you observe at x equal one, it's two, three, four, the gradient. It, it's getting steeper and steeper, right? How about this? Uh, this, this. Which one is larger? Or which one is faster? Uh, let me open, let's just show the graph, okay? 
let's just use this GeoGebra. Okay, first is x squared. Okay. X squared. Then two. See here, the red color. At the beginning, it seems that uh, the green color is above, right? It seems at the beginning, but as time growing, it's become larger in gaps, right? You see that the red color is faster. So, Let's go back to our uh, notes. So when we have this functions, it's it can explain the populations growing better than we. we we that then this model okay so we are better using this one okay because it's similar to 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 nature okay then i will move first to derivative okay and then i will go back to what's happening here okay this is just to show you uh, what the exponential means. So you have y, like you said, you have you can have two, three, four, right? Let's say we have some some base three uh, b, okay? It can be uh, two, three, uh, any number with the x as the power, the index. Oh, if you want, this is fx, yeah. Then we will write the the first derivative, okay? Let me use uh, limit. Let's just use the h, okay? Okay, this is the, uh, definitions. Again, it's definitions. Let's uh, move in our function b to the x. Okay, so b to the x plus h. Okay, minus b to the x. And then this is h. Um, uh, let's just uh, simplify uh, this part. We can write this as b to the x multiplied by b to the h, okay? And then minus b to the x and h, okay? And then we try to factorize this. b to the x and then b to the h minus one, okay? Let's, let's separate uh, these two. There's a distinct, distinct function here. Uh, let me write this in red color. And then okay, I can write like this, right? 
And the first one is just p to the x. And how about the second one? Okay. So to to get the idea what is this, uh, let me draw a table. This is for H. Um, to know what is happening in this limit form, okay? Let's just say if B is two, okay? Then this become two, H minus one over eight, okay? To get um, the sense for what is the form. Because it's limit, let's try, like I've mentioned in early class, you can try 0, 0.0 something, right? Let's try uh, maybe 0 0.001, okay? Do you guys got a calculator? Uh, can you try to count? So two, two with the power of 0 0.001 minus one and zero zero. This is not really proving, but um, a rough idea for proof. Okay. 0 0.6933 eight, so 0 0.6933 uh, three, three, okay. And maybe try one more, okay, one more. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, can you try one more? Zero point nine uh, zero point six nine three one. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay. So I will give you a spoiler, okay? I will give you spoilers so that you get the idea and then we can try to make a conclusion, okay? Uh, try to input uh, L and two in your calculator. Zero, yeah. It's nearby the, so the more zero you get, okay, you will get exactly the same number with this L and two, which means this is the log of E, okay? And if you remember the logarithm, The, this is the base, uh, wait. So uh, let me just think, uh, let me write this. If B is three, okay, you will also get, when you make sure your age and you compute the three age, this, okay, maybe plug in zero, zero something, and it will be L and three, okay? Okay, then why this E is appearing here? Okay, that, that's the, the idea that I want to um, explain and maybe later also. So, Can you plug in LN3? What is the number? One point what? 1.0986. Okay. So from two to three, okay. If you if you try the LN, 
this is 0 0.6 something this is one point okay this ln here so at the middle here there will be a number when you plug in the number with the ln it's become one and i think you know the you know that that number is e okay which means the e is around 2.71 a a blah 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 and never ends right so this you get okay so i will write this as lnb first okay and then i will go for what is e actually and some definition in calculus also and you will also still having this e problem next calculus okay so i can write this from this it, it seems that when you have limit as h approach zero if your base is e this become one okay it appears or it seems that and it's it's true spoilers okay it's true okay and that's why if it is true then when you have the e to the x it's ln e it's one so it's still e to the x okay okay But what is E actually? I will give you like maybe five, 10 minutes, uh, just a brief, brief intro. Why, why, why we need those number E, okay? Okay, E, or you call this a Euler number, okay? Because it's, it's work by the mathematician named Euler. It's irrational number, which means that you are having a lot of decimals. And you, you actually, maybe you cannot really count the decimals. It's really a lot. Okay. The, first, the first person to, to dig a problem is it's not Euler. He is called the Bernoulli. Maybe you, will, you know from physics, right? But Bernoulli is also a mathemat good mathematician. And by the way, I haven't told you the L'Hopital rule, but actually he, he, he is the one who found, not L'Hopital. So L'Hopital has a lot of money and he gave Bernoulli and Bernoulli found, but it, the credits goes to L'Hopital. Yeah, money has power. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Bernoulli, he's tried to solve uh compound and interest so um, okay let's say you have let's say you have uh 100 ntd just 100 okay or maybe 1000 I might be just 100, 100 NTD, okay. And you go to bank, okay. Go to bank, okay. And let's say the bank uh, offer 100% interest. A lot, it's, it's a lot, right? Uh, per year, okay. Per year, it's a lot, okay. So 100. And after one year, you have 200, right? Okay. Let's try another case. Okay. You still have this 100, but the bank, uh, they offer 50% of interest every half year, every six months, every half year. So you will get Half is 150, it's uh, half year, right? 
which year and then half of 150 again after half year this become 75 to 225 right to 225 hey interesting right okay what happen if uh, every month so 1 over 12 every month so i think we need to create a model uh, or a formula here okay uh, the formula is if you have this x as your uh, let's just go for 100 as your initial uh, money you need to multiply 100 with 1 plus the percentage right let's say this the, the first one is only 100 then just one okay then that's it it's 200 right the second case is one plus half right it's squared it's two times right okay so we we are developing this kind of model so so 100 one plus one over 12 and then 12 times okay it seems that you will have two six one and try another one maybe every day 365 let's say just 365 okay and then you will get this 271. Okay. Okay. So your this 365, you can say this is one plus one over n n. Okay. So you have you can have n as much as you can, right? So Bernoulli, he wants to know what is the number here. But unfortunately, Bernoulli failed. Failed to find. But he know, yeah, he know. The number is between two and three. Okay. He's nearly got right to seventy one. He is two point seventy one, right? He is nearly got right, but he cannot find the exact number okay and 50 years later you will uh, work it out okay i will write some user form but i will not go into deep because i think there's some uh, also for the next calculus so euler okay he found that e is two plus one And then one two one one four one one six one one, and it never end. And uh, that's why it's called um, irrational. This is called the continuous fraction. But uh, I will not go into detail. But just to show you that e also can be written like that. Also e can be written like this. Uh, maybe I will show you how, what, or why it can be shown like this. Okay. Uh, we can say it's in infinitum or it's going for um, infinite okay okay why e is important okay why e is important uh, let me 
put E. I already prepared the graph. Okay, okay th uh, this is E to the X, okay? This is E to the X, okay? So let's say you have E at some point, maybe here, at x equal one, okay. So at uh, this is become just e, right? At the one point uh, one one zero, and the gradient, the y prime, is also e, right? It's also e. which is E. So the only functions that the derivative and its own value is always the same. And also the area. When you learn integra integrations, e to the x is e to the x, right? So the area also E, the area also E. So that's why E is important. So why it's in our nature, why it's in our uh, every growth, everything that related to growth, maybe later you will growing bacteria, cells and so forth, and maybe you will see some growing in uh, populations and so forth. You will see the number E because it is the, the, by definition is inside the nature, okay? Okay, so uh, let me move to um, all let, let's let's say that the e to the x is uh, the key for e to the x is when you have dy dx, it's also equal y. Like the uh, e to the x is also e to the x, right? It's it, it's the same as the it, it's y. Okay. Let's say okay, I have a a function y. Let's say I have one. Okay. So if you want to make it the same one, okay, I need to plus this with x right to derive so that when i derive x it's become one but then it's not the same right one plus x and one i need to plus this with x so that it's the same but then to make it sense i need to plus with to to become another x below right and then it's not the same anymore right it's, it's not making sense. So, so I need to add this one, okay? And then to make it make sense, I need to add also here one over. Imagine this is cube, okay? To make the, this x cube become half. So imagine the tree will go to the front, right? So to make it half, you will you will have three and two, right? So when you are canceling this three, it's become half, okay? So you will have three, two, and you also have three, two here, okay? This is just um, intuitive idea how the formula come, okay? Um, and then, anyone want to try what is the next one? What is in this below here? It should be x to the fourth here, but what is this? below 
ya yeah. yes 24 so what is 24 it's come from 4 3 2 okay so from this just rough idea it's not proving anything but this is just gonna give you a sense that when you have e and the derivative of e is the same right so you can say that you can have uh, e to the x is 1 plus x plus this plus this plus this or you can write this as 1 plus x plus I say this one factorial uh, let's, say, let's say it's x squared is 2 factorial this is x cubed 3 factorial for plus uh, x to the fourth, four factorial, okay? And you can have this, but what we will not really going into deep here. This is just showing you that E has many form and it will be, you will find E more and more. Also, I think in your um, second or third year course, you will find E, okay? You will find E. Okay, um, this is in Cal 2. Okay, that's E, okay? Okay, let's just uh, go back to the B and L and B before, okay? So we can also write if the P to the X is, we already know E now. I can write in terms of log, okay? I can write this, okay? E with something L and some base here, it will be the base itself, right? So if the, if this is um, a, uh, x, then we can write e, l, and b, x, okay? If we rewrite this, okay? Then we already learned chain rule. And we already know that e to the x will be e to the x, okay? In a sense, from the L and B before. Then this is becomes just L and B x, and then multiply with L and B. Okay. So when you are defining e. The way you understand the b to the x, it, it will be much uh, simpler, okay? So this that's why uh, e uh, becomes important. It can also help solving um, others, um, either the, uh, the formula or how we understand the uh, the growth, especially. So it's kind of, kind of uh, you going forward and then backwards, and then with E, you can solve this PX.
uh, or just note maybe I, I I didn't write before but this is just to me uh, to make sure that uh, it's 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 been given okay um let me just write this as limit. So it's just the same expression as before. So it will be e to the x and limit. Okay, and we already arrive at the. Uh, a conclusion that this is one. So this become e to the x. So you can have e, uh, I will write in blue. You can have e as this expression. This is e can also have limit as well, let's say just this is one Okay, um, any questions first? Okay. Okay, if there's no questions, um, maybe it's, uh, some, uh, maybe one example from the chain rule, okay? Uh, I need to check with you. Uh, let me. Okay. Any questions from the online students? No. Okay. Okay. Um. I know it's uh quite messy. Like we are going forward, backwards, and to imp to find the um uh, the e and what why it's so important and the relation with the others uh, function, especially. Uh, log and e is because log and e it's inverse each other, right? Okay. Be, before we are going to detailing the log, log logarithm part. Okay. Uh, can you check these questions? Of, obviously, this is uh, we call it this. This situation is called nested. So inside, 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 so it's called nested. Like before x square, x plus, and you can have like more and more and more. So this is just has uh, f, one, two, yeah, just three, but with the x, okay. So can you check this out? So you have the, the big F, and then you have uh, 
the information that F1, 2, F2, 3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you get the final answer, uh, raise your hand. Is the room is okay for you or do you need to turn on AC? No. It's okay. Oh, okay, Vitasha. Uh, which which part you need to explain? Okay, I'm, I will review a little bit about the today. Okay.
Mm. It's hundred, but the last two digits. Um, actually, the last part is right, but I think the middle is wrong. Let me check. And then multiply by the inside functions, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you know this is the product rule. The product rule. Product rule F G F prime G G prime F. Right. This one, right? Plus yeah, you check check first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so the answer is three. But this is F one. But this F and this F is different. You get it? This the big F and the small F is diff diff different functions. Let me check two, three. Now, if you de if you derive, uh, you derive to some variables, right? If when you are plugging these two, the variables is different, right? Can you compare with the x? Is it's the same six or not? Yeah, compare with the if you have this x x. Okay, you try to the de uh, derivative this. Okay, and the last part you try the number. Uh, check it's the same or not. Yeah. This is the, the big F is equal this, right? right. Uh, try to de de uh, derive this part okay. just using this X until you get something uh, formula here, then uh, use the uh, number. Oh, okay. Yeah, try, try that one. Oh, okay, similar with him. Mm. Okay, it's interesting. Interesting. It's it's wrong, but uh, but interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, you need to be careful when you plug in the number. You might change the. The, the function. So you need to check whether this function here, okay, when you derive the, the big F, check the the formula for the, the this one. Okay. Check the derivative of this. Uh, do not input the number first. Check that one. And then lastly, put the number inside and check whether it's the same or not.
you, you get that, but no. Oh. Seven. Hmm. Okay. I think it's too big. Yeah, too big. It's hundred, but not not seven. It's around hundred. Huh? Really? How? Six, and then this multiple by three. Three. Uh huh. And then. Plus three is okay. 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 Hmm. But it's, it's not. It's not the number that I remember. <laughs> okay, but let me check. Okay. You got the number? You got the number? No? You got the number? Okay, okay. Almost, almost, almost. Not, not two, but one and something. Yeah. Um, almost, almost, almost. almost. Hmm? One. Oh, you're, you're. Like when I substitute one into x, one, one multiple f one is two, then plus f two, then f two is three. Mm -hmm. Then it's one. <laughs> and one multiple by f one is two. Mm -hmm. This is f one two equal to five. Mm -hmm. And f one mm -hmm. two. Three, five, yes. three, and then fifteen plus three is eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check that one first. Sorry, sorry. Let me go here. Huh? Okay. You the same? Okay. Yes? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the middle one is, is not correct. But it's it's around hundred, around hundred. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, let me check. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. 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 Some some of you do interesting interesting uh, in math, but I I haven't thought about that. But uh, some of you try to making the one 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 and to become F one and it become F F one. Okay. Uh, can you do this? I, I'm just asking. Can you do this? Why yes and why no? Okay, uh, to prove something, okay, whether when you plug in it's correct or no, uh, I always going back to the roots of our problem first. Okay, so let's let's see this first. Okay, let's see this first. This is a composite function. Okay, it has uh, a functions. Okay, need to multiply by variable x. It's all inside the functions the same functions okay and multiply again by the x and inside the same function okay so we call this the composite function so when you are doing any works with this composite function because you not you don't really know what is the equation right what is the function is okay so it's dangerous when you are plug in directly it's, it's dangerous because you don't really know what the function is so what you can do is you need to prove first the, the derivative from the scratch okay so proof uh, the derivative doing the chain rule based on our chain rule you have the f prime and then all the inside here still the same and then you need to derive all the inside and remember, you have in this part, you have two functions, right? This x and this f. You need to do the, the product rule, the fg, right? And it, it's become f prime g plus g prime f. Okay. So it's still the same, right? Uh, one more time, and then make it into product rule. Make the product rule, this x f prime. And when you are dealing with this, it still have derivative inside, right? So f, it's, it's another chain rule, f prime and ddx of the inside function. Okay? And the rest is same. And then you get this um, and then this is from the product rule from here. F prime G, G prime F, okay? And this is the same. Then when you have a simple enough to be seen, like you have separated function like this, okay? Then you can plug in this, plug in this, plug in this, plug in this, okay? Uh, let me show you that when you have just these two function inside functions like fg problem, I think it's not really a problem when you are uh, dealing with the numbers here. Okay? Then plug in all the number from the information you get, you get 198. Okay, I believe if you just have um, just three functions like this, uh, two functions like this, it's 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 simple, it's it's fine. There's not a problem here. But when you have like a nested function like this, okay, you have this x, 
this is your problem actually because this x making this uh, x and f uh, another obstacles when you try to derive okay i think if there is no x here I think that will be safe if you just plug in the number. But this X making it's difficult. Okay, make it's uh, uh, by definition it's making the definition of derivative seeming uh, seems um, like say a broken because you don't really have this uh, form if you just plug in the number. But that is that plug in the number is actually one way, one way to solve. But if if this having an x here, it's it will be having a trouble there. Okay. I forgot the name, but uh, th there's actually a similar problem uh, when you plug in the number and then uh, you cannot really define the functions anymore. Okay. So I think we still have five minutes left. Um, let me just um, review. Let me review a little bit, okay, about the. Okay. Let me just review. Um, yeah, from here, okay. Exponential functions, um, you will learn pop, uh, growth and decay, but maybe later. And then you learn uh, proving this one. So proving, proving b to the x. But from here, uh, you need E, right? To get that this, the whole idea of limit of E to the H minus one over the H is equal one. So when you have these definitions, you get to prove that, okay, if I have B to the X, then the derivative is B to the X and L and B. So that's the exponential. So you have a function. When you derive the function, any base of the B, whether it's E, any number, you will get that derivative. Uh, you will get that function. Okay. So the function is B to the X, right? But when you derive, you will get another B to the X. That's exponential means. Exponential means when you derive, you will meet the original function, okay? And the interesting thing is, if B is E, then the whole idea here, or if the Fx is E to the X, then from this definition, your F prime will be E to the X, actually ln E. But because we already know that ln E is already defined by one uh, in your maybe previous, previous math class, then it's just e to the x. And when you have the um, e to the x squared, like in your um, chain rule, then you will get, uh, wait. you need to multiply with the inside functions to x. Okay. So in exponent, why it's called exponent is because you will have this form uh, again, but it's, it should be this, okay? Okay. Okay, any questions? Any questions?
or when you have the e to the square root of x, then f prime will be e to the square root of x over two, right? Okay, and from this e, uh, we'll go for log and then jump a little bit to implicit differentiation because I think the rest of the formula, if you know the implicit differentiation, it's easy to prove all the, uh, most of the formula in calculus one. Yeah, I think it's quite a lot, the chapters. You still have the exponential growth, uh, decay, related rates, uh, linear approximation. But I think all is based on differential, differential case. When you have the delta, delta y, delta x, it's the same expression, but used in different way. And after that, it finished all chapters. And we can move to uh, the next chapter. It's still derivatives, but it's more like applications of derivative. So more relate to graphics, how to sketch a graph with calculus. Okay, okay I think that's it for today. There's no questions, then uh, we finish the class. Okay. Oh, don't forget next Tuesday quiz. Okay. Okay, uh, the class is finished. Uh, thank you for your attention, uh, online students. Yeah, the quiz I will send uh, by email. Uh, check the Moodle system, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me check. F prime, mm hmm This is from here, okay? And this is from, oh, this part is from. So first you, you have this, okay? Uh, this part is not finished. It's, uh, you still need to differentiate this. So you cannot. Uh, yeah, the part. This part is wrong. How to explain? Here. So first is this, right? You get this, right? And you differentiate this. So it's it's disappear. It's disappear. It become this. Become x and f. Two functions. Product rule. So f g. So you need to have f prime plus, right? Yeah. So imagine this is f prime, uh, it's f, it's g. So you need to have this f, f, or g, g prime is f prime, uh, g. Okay. f prime is just x derivative one, right? So it's become this, okay? And the, the, this part become this, and you need to 
extend rule one more time. Okay. And then this one becomes this. Also, product rule, FG, right? So, F, uh, G prime, G, F prime. So, that's why uh, if you directly go this, uh, yeah, this is what I told you before that sometimes students, uh, when they see the uh, function, if the function is just F and G, it's, it's, it's simple, right? You get just get this, and then you multiply with the G prime X, right? Just these two functions. But you have like F, 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 F. Then you need to be more careful. So I, my, my suggestion is you write uh, step by step. Because this part, when you have this X and F, it's become two functions, two, two multiplication functions. Function F, function G. Then you need to have the product rule, so that's why it's 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 getting more and more expansion. Okay, okay that's it.